Was that, was that always a part of the plan? Family, kid? Or were you just not even thinking about it and it kind of just happened? Never thought about it once. I spent my whole life avoiding having children. I'm proud to say that I think my pullout game is pretty miraculous. <laughs> I could pull out any any time of day. Eyes closed. I could just I was I have amazing accuracy with my pulling out, which really kind of fucked me at one point because I was drinking this energy drink that uh it was starting to fuck me up. It was making me pre cum. And uh What's I, the energy drink? We gotta make sure I'm not gonna guys, shout him out. I don't wanna no? get sued or anything, but <laughs> just gotta make sure the guys don't drink it. Well, I searched, I Googled it and I saw a study that said that when you give energy drinks to rats, it fucks with their sperm concentration. Nice. So I actually mm. think that this might be a real thing. Wow. But okay. I, st I stopped drinking it and I stopped having the problem. I could drink it again and see if it happens again. Because if, if I drank it for a week and then it started happening again, then I'm going to 100% know then it's a thing. you know for sure, yeah. 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 So, so you spent your whole time avoiding it. Um, how does it come to be? How, how, how did you and Lena meet? How did it all go down? I think we just like, you know, when I met her, we were partying and hooking up with random girls and staying up all goddamn night and doing all this crazy shit. And then at a certain point, we bought a house. All of a sudden, we're watching a lot of Netflix. We're just kind of posted up on the couch. We're looking at my uh, my brother-in-law Josh's kids, and we're just thinking, oh, my God, like, you know, like, this could be great. Like, we could do this. We're already at the point where we're, like, watching, like, six hours of Netflix every night when I come home from work. Like, maybe we could just sort of have a kid and, like, put some effort into that. I don't know. I'll just make that happen. Yeah, it just yeah. started to seem like a viable option, and it seemed like it made sense for where my life was at. In the sense that, like, when I was out partying and really hustling and clout chasing all those years, going and vlogging every night and doing all this goddamn shit, like, it would have been really hard. Like, I don't, I don't think I could live that life now. And even the people I know were on tour all the fucking time and comedians, whatever. It's like they got kids and they got to go on tour for a month to just make some money, so like that they could, you know, continue to pay for their their life. I mean. I respect the fuck out of it, but I'm very, very thankful that I don't have to do that at this point because it would kill me to have to just leave my my kid for months at a time to just go get bread. Are you ever yeah. scared of the content that you put out? Think like thinking that you have a kid. In terms of like, I mean, we'll start with the porn. no dumper stuff. We can go to the porn stuff after. We can obviously. do the plug talk no, stuff. No, but even but even even with it's like. You know, whatever the content you've done in the past, the content you're going to continue you creating. You know what I mean? Like, are are you, are you? Do you ever think about that, or are you just like, fuck it, I don't give a fuck? I think about it, but it's also like, you know, this is grown folk shit. You know, it's like <laughs> my kids just going to have to understand like, grown folks do different types of shit, and like, you know, it doesn't. You know, it's like, ideally, you keep them away from it for a long time, but then at a certain point, it's like, because I think about it every day, because I'm driving to work, listening to Pooh Shiesty and. I'm just like thinking about how I would explain the lyrics to a kid, <laughs> or it's like, why why does dad need to have a guy with a gun with him? Why does dad have a gun? Why does dad have weed? Why is dad going outside to smoke? Why is you know you just think about all these things yeah. through the perspective of a kid's eyes? Why is dad posting pictures with all these girls on Instagram? You know, like shit like that. And it's like, you know, there there will be many many reality checks throughout her life. Sure. My kid will have one additional layer of reality check. You know, it's like every kid gets kind of bummed out, I think, when they realize that their parents have been fucking. <laughs> My kid's just going to have to realize that they were not only fucking, but they were putting it on the internet. <laughs> but, I mean, I, I don't know. Okay. If she can't deal with that, then you weren't meant for this world. You yeah. know, that's like what if that's she easy wants to, shit. What's, what if she wants to follow in your footsteps? Um, I mean, when she's an adult, it, it wouldn't be my business. Okay. You know, obviously, like, I think your job as a parent is to just kind of like, focus on education and focus on teaching your kids to like have as many opportunities available to them as they want and uh you know then at the same time i kind of can't not think about the fact that i know a lot of girls who like show their boobs on only fans and make like 20 grand a month mm -hmm. and that then you know when you think about that it might be kind of hard to convince your kid to go to school for eight hours or eight <laughs> years to be a lawyer. Yep. You know, like that might be kind of hard like yeah. to convince your kid that like, hey, you're going to make way less money than what's her name who's taking topless selfies or whatever. Like, I, I, I mean, I think I'm not even worried about porn. I think that in general, it's like, how do you how, how is my kid not going to become a fucking social media zombie? Like, how do you yeah. keep her brain from being attuned to like get all of her ideas of what's cool and what's admirable and everything like how do you train her to not get that from social media when realistically she lives in the social media age where all this stuff is going to get even more important yep. yeah. 
And I mean, yeah, I don't know. I mean, that that's something that I, I think about that way more. I don't really think about like, oh, one day she's going to want to have OnlyFans. I mean, listen, if she fucking ends up being that kind of person, so be it. Like, yeah. you know, I, my, my only goal is to like teach her as much as possible and give her as many opportunities as possible that she'll feel like she has all these other things that she might want to sink her creative juices into, you know?